Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm ready to start another project here. I was going to wait till the weekend, but um, <laughs> my poor husband, um, I really occupy his time off, so I think I'm going to try to tackle it myself. So here we are. Um, I'm right next to my 2019 Jayco 37RB. And as you can see, it is under cover. And uh, it's a company that makes these capani cat, excuse me, canopies, special order. And um, they can attach it to your house, which is very nice. So I have two of these attached to the house and the rest are posts. And here's the other one and it's towards the front of the RV and then I have this post back here and I put a um, sunscreen up to help protect the back of the RV from UV rays and um, it works really well it works really good and the side of the RV gets a lot of Sun uh, so I'm working on extending uh, this UV fabric to the side and connecting it to the posts. So this side, of course, is posts because it's not by a wall. And there's another post and there's two up there. And you're probably wondering, well, why are there two posts up front? Well, originally we only had the, the one and... Um, then we had a post right there, but we had them remove it and put a post here. And then because they did that, they can only be so far apart. They had to put another post um, up there. And um, the reason we had them move it because we in hindsight we needed to be able to uh, take this main slide out uh, so we can do you know our routine cleaning our routine maintenance on it and so uh, we had that done recently so um, the RV is tucked in for another month then we're going to take another trip and the thing with these RVs is you really shouldn't have them parked um, too long unused because the engine really needs to be exercised. You know, what the old saying is, um, if you don't use it, you lose it. Well, yeah, that's what happens. So this is uh, my project for today, coming back around here up front. Um, we cleaned the entire RV and the only thing that I have left is the front cap right here and as if you could see I don't know if it's coming out on video but there's still some leftover um, bugs bug guts on there I mean I cleaned it as best I could um, but it's really difficult to control the uh, cleaning rod um, being that it's so long and a little bit um, cumbersome and and a little bit heavy so I need to be able to somehow get on top of the hood by some sort of scaffolding so I can finish cleaning that so I figured out what I'm gonna do <clears throat> so um, I have a piece of of two by I believe it's two by twelve two by twelve by twelve is it twelve feet no by ten feet two by twelve by ten feet long and um, I'm gonna put it across two ladders and that's gonna be my scaffolding um, the thing is the front of the RV is approximately, <clears throat> I want to say seven and a half feet 
in width. And um, the it's not quite long enough. So I do have a, a piece that I picked up at Home Depot. It was a scrap piece, and they do have a scrap pile that they don't sell, but people who just want a piece can, you know, of whatever size they can use it, they, they give it away. They say, yeah, you can have it, take it home. So that's, that's pretty neat. I didn't know about that until recently. So uh, several months ago, I did pick up a scrap piece, and I think I'm going to go ahead and screw it to this piece to extend the length so I can put two ladders on either side of the front of the RV and then put the piece of wood over the ladder so I can um, do what I need to do to the front cap. Now I did pick up um, some items that is going to help me make sure that those pieces don't move. And I'm going to be attaching these items to, yeah, I have my sunscreen over here. <laughs> I do a lot of work outside and I have to protect myself. So, boy, I really packaged this well. So I'm going to put these at the end of the pieces of wood to kind of um, keep it from sliding off the ladder rung so if I put this on the end let me let me show you real quick like so and that way it won't go off the rung and I can possibly injure myself so it's going to be two on each either end of the um, 2 by 12 okay so that's the plan. So let me stop this so I can get the other piece and attach it. And I'll get back with you soon. Bye. Okay, here we are with um, all the things that I'm going to need to complete this attachment to extend this um, makeshift scaffold. So I've got my the piece of wood that I got at Home Depot free. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? And um, I've got my bits. I've got my um, this. <laughs> it'll, it'll come to me. And I got my screws and. I got my glue because so I'm going to put glue on it too just to make it a little bit more um, firmer grip drill drill okay and isn't this great I know I, I showed this in a previous video but I'm going to show it again I love the way this turned out um, we have been on so many um, RV trips, different RVs. And um, one of the one, the last ones that we were on um, with a travel trailer, and of course your weight is limited, but we, we were towing with a, with a one ton truck. And um, we, we were, we had the weight capability to take a tool chest, but nothing like this. Um, it's it was always okay. We need this bag. We need that bag. We need these tools, you know. And it was never something like this because obviously this is just too big to be hauling around and and pulling it out. It's just it was just too too cumbersome. But on this RV, which is a Class C diesel, um, we were able to um, get this pullout tray, which is a more ride pull-out tray for uh, a cooler if you want to add an extra cooler um, that's what it originally was made for but when we looked at the description and we looked at the measurement of the tray we said you know what we can fit this tool chest on there 
and of course we took the dimensions of the tool chest the, the height of the tray what how what we needed to do uh, it needed to clear um this bottom part right here we needed for this to clear it so we had to raise it a little bit with this one uh one by six right here and it raised it just enough where this slider was over that and of course um, the tool chest had to sit a little bit higher on the tray and there's a gap right here because it's sitting on a couple pieces of wood um, and those are like one inch thick now we did have to shave it a little bit because this bottom tray had to clear this lip so it does clear it we have to just pull it on a little bit but it does clear it um, and of course not so high that then we have trouble with this clearing the top and of course we had to center it because we have this odd angle to contend with so all in all you know tweaking it here and there we made it happen and all of the tools are now consolidated in one area and it's just amazing I can't tell you how excited I am um, these are metric and US measurement and um, you know all the wonderful sockets and yeah and then the bottom one if I can get get it past there there we go see all that in there it's just wonderful 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 because before and it does clear guys so don't there it goes whereas before uh, where is this tool uh, where's the drill uh, where's the bits uh, where's the sockets it was just all over the place all over the place so with this we are very excited and we have even room on the side for um, my husband put this in there which is fine and then back there we have a torque wrench and we use that torque wrench to uh, torque down uh, lug nuts <laughs> it's always something so and the neat thing about this and I know I talked about it before is look at this strip and it also has USB so you connect it it has um, this plug back here and you can connect it under here and I know exactly where to connect it and then you can charge your batteries to your power tools um, charge your phone charge your camera you know all kinds of, of things so I'm really excited so let's go back to the project <laughs> okay so I got all the stuff ready and uh, let me uh, go ahead and get that done and I'll get back with you later okay signing off okay so I thought I'd show you how I do this um, I've already applied the glue and um, I, I stuck the first four screws on there and I'm going to finish with the rest. You don't want to put too few because this is going to support some weight. So it's really hot over here. So I'm going to complete the project. I'll go ahead and put this up there. This, this is so neat because when you put the screw in there it's going to stay as long as you find the there you go well now of course it doesn't want to work <laughs> okay there we go there we go so let me start at this end Okay, don't 
doesn't slip. You don't want it to slip. There it goes. And you do want to countersink it. Oh, I think my batteries are dead. Let me get another battery. Let's hope this one's charged. Charged. I gotta charge the other one now. Let me not forget. Oh, come on. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to strip it. Stick a couple more in there, and then we'll work in the middle. It's going to come out anytime soon, but you know. Okay. Get the middle. That one went quicker because it's actually over a table and it's supported. I don't have to worry about putting too much weight on it and it flipping off the table. deep. Good thing this wood is thick. Okay. Let me uh, put it down to 11 so it knows how to stop. thing you want is for this piece of wood to come right off when you're standing on it. Okay. There it goes. Ooh, I got a hole in my glove. I go, gee, I can feel that screw. And I got a hole in my glove. <laughs> So you get the gist, so let me just finish this this one row and then uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, signing off for now. Okay everybody, I'm back. Um, as you can see, I went ahead and I put all those uh, screws in, countersunk them so they're in there pretty firm. And this board is glued on top of the bigger board. So now what I'm doing is I've got these bolts and um, 
I'm gonna put these L brackets, L bracket, onto the end, and I'm gonna put this bolt into the hole, and I've already drilled the hole to hold it in place. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna keep this board from sliding off the ladder rung because remember we're creating a scaffold and safety is our first priority here okay so i've got one hole drilled and i'm gonna do this one i've already marked it got a, got my pencil lined this up marked it and so now we're gonna drill it Carefully and start out slowly. You don't want it to slip. And there we go. Okay, nice clean hole. Now you take the, the bolt. So now we're going to put all those things together. So now as I open up this package of block washers, here we go. Okay, so the way this goes is block washer, washer, put it in the hole. side is a washer and a nut and you're in business okay oh I think my gardener's here <laughs> so we're gonna have to stop with our project because the gardener's here okay everybody signing off Okay, good morning everybody. We're back. Um, yesterday we got um, a little sidetracked because the gardener came. <laughs> and I had to pack up everything and <clears throat> and then uh, wait for them to leave. But when they le left, uh, they left the rain. <laughs> so we couldn't even continue. So today... We're going to go ahead and, and tighten these screws. As you remember, I drilled holes to put this plate on, and this plate is going to keep this board from sliding off the ladder rung. Um, remember, we're doing a uh, scaffolding type between two ladders on either side of the front of the RV. And the scaffolding, um, we're doing it because I need to be able to get to the front cap of the Class C to clean it, to clean the bugs off, be able to wax it. Oh, and I do apologize, the AC kicked on again. So I hope you can hear me okay. So let's just go ahead and tighten this. Um, I've got a 916th wrench and a 916th socket. Uh, the wrench is gonna go on this side to kinda keep the screw from spinning. There won't be a break in this video, so you remember what um, what I put on here. Lock nut, washer, um, and then a 
washer and a, a nut on the other side. This thing is pretty sturdy. So, um, let's finish off the other one and then I'll do the other end. I woke up this morning with a song in my head. <laughs> um, my my youngest granddaughter loves um, to watch the simple songs on on YouTube, and one of the songs is um, it it, um, it involves. I guess a, a frog singing down by the bay where the water, watermelons grow. Um, walk by my home where I do not go. For if I did, my mother would say, Have you ever seen a llama wearing pajamas down by the bay? And it goes on and on. <laughs> so I got that in my head. I woke up this morning. I go, oh my goodness grandkids, give you a, a new lesson on life, they're wonderful. Okay, got that there, washer, nut, there you go, it's caught. Spinning, all is good with the world. Come on, get on there, catch. Okay, it did. Here we go. Let's finish this one. get my little hand in here. The other one works. So let's see if I can just hold it and spin it. Come on. You can do it. There it goes. There you go. If I hold it on this side. Where the water man's 
closing down my other day. Okay, so let me sign off. I'll do the other side and then we'll we'll go ahead and test it. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, hi everybody. I'm back and I finished the the scaffolding. Well, these pieces anyways, right here. And I do apologize for the AC. It's it's on again, the house AC, so it's making a lot of noise. So there you have it. And there's my mail. <laughs> and there's the other end. So um Hopefully once I get the ladders up and get this thing up, I can uh, go ahead and, and test it out. I do see uh, something that may be an issue. Um, hopefully not so much that it will not allow this to work. But uh, when I set this on the ladder, uh, these bolts may um, prove to be a, a teeter-tottering issue. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we're we're done, and uh, can't wait to test it out. Okay, signing off. Right by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Walk by my home. I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, Have you ever seen a llama wearing pajamas right by the bay?